Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve and optimize your FPS in GTA 5M. This video will be helpful for all kind of PCs, so make sure to stick around till the end. And with all that said, let's get started. Step number one is the essential Windows settings and for that open up settings on your PC and once you are here go all the way down to gaming, go over to game bar and turn this thing off. Game bar actually consumes a lot of memory in the background and disabling so will help you to increase your FPS. Right beneath that go back to game mode and then turn this thing on. I've counted this multiple times but game mode turned on gives you better FPS in general. Right beneath that you'll find graphic settings. Simply open this thing up and over here you'll find change default graphic settings. Simply open it up and enable both of these options that is hardware extended GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games. Both of them will help you to utilize your GPU for rendering the game as well as reducing the input latency. After that, go back to graphics and then click on the browse button and add 5M in this list. Once again, if you are unaware of 5M, simply search it on your PC, right click on it. I have already added it right over here and then simply go over to option, click on high performance and then click on save. Once that is done, close your settings. Step number two is pressing your windows in R key and then typing in app data. Once you're here, go over to local and then find 5M right over here, open it up, then open up the application data right here. Then go over to data, cache and right over here, you'll find all of these cache files. Simply control A and shift delete all of these files and it will clean your cache files. Then go back to 5M data and keep this folder minimized because you're gonna need it later. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors, which is legit, reliable and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and original as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine Windows key since I do not like the activate Windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a Windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get Windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code FOX25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have Windows 11 update for free. And it is perfect time to get rid of that Windows activation mark. There are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your Windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Next step is deanimating Windows and this is very essential. Simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of Windows and then click on adjust for best performance and then click on save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts. This will minimize the animations of your Windows and it will also help you to gain 2-5% to extra FPS. Right after that, configure your virtual memory and for that go over to advanced settings and then click on the virtual memory. Hit on the change button, deselect automatically manage paging file size, click on custom size and the initial size should be 1361 as it is a little bit over 1 GB. Then the maximum size you have to search for system information on your PC, then look for install physical memory that is 32 GB for me. Then open up your calculator and multiply install physical memory with 1024 and this will give you your memory in megabytes. Now simply divide this whole value by 2 and the value that you get over here is what you have to paste in the maximum size. This is how you optimally set your virtual memory for gaming. Once that is done, click on set, click on ok and then close performance options. Next step is disabling unwanted services on your PC and for that press windows and R key together and then type in msconfig. And once it opens up, go over to the service section and then click on hide all Microsoft services and then disable all Adobe update service, fan control, RGB services, browser update services and the services that you do not use. This will make sure that less number of processes are running on your processor and it will help you to gain extra FPS. Next step is creating a restore point and this is super simple. Search for create a restore point on your PC and once you're over here, select your local disk C, click on create and name it 5M just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once it is done, simply click on close and then close system properties. Next step is actually the 5M FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below and you can also download it from the discord server link in the description below. 
Once you're here, you'll find in six simple folders. The first one is CPU priority. Simply open it up and then you have to know if you're using an Intel and AMD CPU. Once again, I have an AMD CPU, so I need to double click and run the AMD CPU priority. However, if you have an Intel CPU, you can run this one. Second folder is the 5M low end settings in which I have this mods and citizen folder. Simply copy this folder and then open up the folder which we have minimized the last time. That will be this 5M application data folder. Simply paste this folder right over here and let it do the job. Once again, it will ask you to replace these files. So simply click on this option and it will put on the best settings possible for your game. Then you can simply close it. Go back to FPS pack. Now the third folder is the RAM optimization in which I have left a ton of RAM registries. Once again, I have 32 GB RAM, so I need to run this one. However, it could be different for you. So apply that RAM registry on your PC. Once again, if you don't like it, you can always revert it back to default. Fourth is the batch files and it will help you to reduce your input latency. Simply run all of them as administrator. It will disable your high precision timer memory compression as well as mitigations all of them will help you to increase your fps and reduce input latency to run them you can simply right click and run this as administrator fifth folder is the unwanted services and this is completely optional if you guys want to gain extra fps you can simply run all of them and it will help you to disable unwanted services and registries on your pc and it will help you to gain extra fps once again if you want to revert them back you can always revert them back from this folder last is the programs folder in which i have left the msi utility v3 right click and run this as administrator now once it opens up simply locate your graphics card select the msi button in front of it now for the intro priority set this thing to high on your graphic card then simply click on apply and it will put your graphic card to a higher affinity once again once that is done simply click on close now once that is done you can simply open up 5m and follow the best settings possible once 5m opens up you have to click on the settings button and then go over to interface and then click on blurred backdrop image and then for the game update channel make sure that this is set to release then click on the first option third option fourth option and fifth option also disable voice chat noise suppression as it consumes a lot of cpu and once that is done, simply close these settings and you can drop into GTA 5M with the best FPS possible. Once again, if you want to get the best GTA settings, you can follow this guide on your screen. It will help you to gain extra FPS in GTA 5 and help you set up GTA 5 perfectly. And you can use it with the 5M as well. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.